But I still claim Gainesville, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, all you guys back home rock. Hey guys, Johnny Discoff here at the 2019 Masters Cup with coverage presented by the Next Gen Tour. I am standing here with possibly the longest thrower on planet Earth, Mr. Double G, Garrett Gerthy. How you doing? I'm doing great, Corey. How are you? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. We're at Day Law. It's Masters Cup. It's almost like a holiday for us disc golfers. Um, how are you feeling in Santa Cruz, though? Uh, we just spent a week in San Francisco. You enjoying it? Uh, definitely enjoying it. We got to, me and Jessica got to drop the trailer off for a couple mm. weeks, so we're, we're kind of hoteling it up for a couple. And uh, it's really nice to be without that little bit of stress and uh, the campers a little bit more than people think. But yeah. it's nice to get, get rid of it for a while and come out here. It is like a vacation, you know. Yeah. We, we got a hotel and we've been to the boardwalk a couple times nice. and... You know, we're taking it all in. We're eating at all the nice restaurants mm -hmm. around. It's definitely like vacay for sure here in Cali. Well, wh where is the trailer? Is it is it up in Grass Valley? It's in the Grass Valley area. It's actually at Mark Brown's property. He has a private disc golf course. So if you have a chance, hit up Mark Brown in the Brown Valley and play his course. He's uh, letting us set up our camper there for a couple weeks. It's uh, pretty flat ground in case we had to go to Grass Valley. It was a little rocky there. <laughs> yeah. um, well, let me ask you then. Uh, Everybody knows that you are from Florida, right? That's where your roots are. But at a lot of tournaments, San Francisco, people say, you know, from Grass Valley, Garrett Gerthy. Right. Uh, let the, what's up with that? Uh, pretty much home is where we park it. So it's like the mail's going to Grass Valley to help me get it expedited mm -hmm. to me on tour uh, from Jessica's mom. Thank you, Sherry. So that's kind of what the reason there is. But I still claim Gainesville, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. All you guys back home rock. Grass Valley's awesome too, so I can't be mad at those guys either. No, I love it. Coast to coast home, man. It's yep. kind of the disc golfer way. Yep. Um, so we're out at Masters Cup, and this course, not necessarily known for the long bombs. Last time we talked, I believe, was Wintertime Open, that first event. Similar vibe where, Similar vibe. you know, we wouldn't project you, your game, you know, to score as well as some of the other people out there. But you just came in after round one with a smoking hot round. Yep. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I did a lot of homework, you know, watched a lot of video this week to see where to land because pretty much all the video shows the top, you know, tiered players uh, doing their thing. So it was really nice to watch the Central Coast and the Joe Miz coverage for, for that sake. So I really didn't practice much on the course because I know I'd exert a lot of energy. So uh, I kept it, kept it light practice this week, got my putts in, and it paid off. Awesome. Uh, I think one thing about this course that does make it so unique is the wide array of shots that you need out here. Really, you know, any hole and any lie could could cause you to need a sidearm, a putter approach, a driver spike hyzer. Um, turn around the corner for sure. Exactly. So how has your game, how have you like game planned for that? Are you using every tool in the, in the toolbox? Uh, honestly, I threw really good shots today. I wasn't really off the fairway, but maybe once or twice today. So... Uh, mainly is getting off the tee right, getting off the tee and then making sure you get it there for your second shot and getting that bar. Okay, well, yeah. it's easy when you're throwing good shots off the tee. It turns out. Turns out. <laughs> um, so you have a lot of roots in disc golf. You've been playing a long time and, and in the professional scene for a long time. One of the biggest uh, narratives coming out of this tournament are the course changes, right? We're starting on 25 instead of one. Uh, we play five and six to finish. Correct. Do you have any thoughts on those changes? Uh, you know, positive, negative, anything? Uh, not really positive, not really negative. You know, I know they did it for a reason. We all have to play the holes. I'm kind of the easy going guy. So I take what comes and, you know, try to make the best of the experience while we're here, especially while we're on a little vacay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, so the the, whole, the courses have got or the holes have got a little easier, I would say, with the changes. You know, whether it's turning the par three i five into a par four, top of the world getting a little shorter. Um, do you think that that will translate to lower scores? Uh, absolutely. I looked at the scores after playing it original style last year, and uh, I figured I would like to come in around double digits my first round, and luckily I did okay. because uh, I feel like you know eleven to fourteen is really doable if you're really getting up and down, getting off the tee. So. Uh, I'm really happy with my 11. I didn't have any bogeys today. The only four I had was on I-5, so made sense. Yeah. So. Uh, any adjustment on I-5? I know there's a better. few different ways you could you could play it. Uh, better drive. I threw a little high. That was one of my off the fairway throws mm -hmm. today. One of the two or three. So uh, we'll clean that up tomorrow and be a little bit better, hopefully. 
All right. Well, hey, I know you're easygoing, but I still want to ask you about uh, switching to the ball golf course, which, you know, to the, you know, you have every facet of the game, right? Mm -hmm. But that ball golf course, distance is king. Um, if you're in the mix going into that, how do you feel, you know, playing your last round on that golf course? Uh, I'm excited. I really like that course, and uh, I've kind of been saving up for it. So I'm really thirsty to go out there and play. I didn't really get a tee time in, but coming up and down this road, you get to visualize all those shots. And going back home tonight, we'll be watching a little bit more video. So uh, we'll be a little bit more excited for Sunday. Awesome. Uh, we're coming off a week in San Francisco where it was a little tricky for a lot of the disc golfers being in the city. Um, but what wasn't tricky is you unleashing bombs. <laughs> uh, I know you're on the round one Central Coast and you had you at one point 693. Yeah. Uh, did you have fun out there just really letting it rip? Dude, it's, it's amazing whenever I get to have those holes with the wind. We don't really get those kind of winds unless we're at the desert. So uh, uh, throwing for big D. So it was really exciting to unleash and it it, there's not many courses that really call for big shots the whole weekend like that and you know I exerted a lot of energy last weekend and this weekend is a lot easier so Did you take some time off at all like like rest the arm or rested the arm the trailer was a rest uh, we didn't really play for two three solid days and in between those times we were putting so uh, if you're not practicing driving make sure you're getting that putt in <laughs> absolutely um, some people like last year you know you and going into this year, you know, you have such a good arm, but I think we could probably both agree that the putting is, you know, not quite as high rated as the long distance driving. Are you right. doing anything like specific to address that or are you kind of just I'm, like seeing how it falls? I'm keying into all my details on how I miss and when there is video, I'm watching how I'm missing and why I'm missing. So I, I'm really just trying to judge with all the camera crews. Thankfully, we could find our mistakes. So I'm uh, trying to adjust that way and practice how, how we play so fair. Or play how you practice <laughs> no yeah. that's fair um well hey i know you got people waiting for you uh, i'm sure you're gonna go grub out i hopefully yeah. you're getting some mexican food there's some sweet ones right mm -hmm. around the corner great food around here yes yeah. um so i want to get you out of here with a chance to say anything that you want to friends family either in gainesville mm -hmm. or in grass valley anyone anything you want to say to the people uh yeah if you check out infinite disc make sure you check out my new emperor i i'm now bagging it it's the glow metal flake emperor so be looking out for that i got a nice personal stamp on there uh, i want to thank thought space athletics for doing the artwork and everything uh, for me this year i want to thank uh, innova champion disc throw the sonics you know anything innova really helps us out any touring pro so we appreciate you and uh, all you do thank hey, you absolutely man and i appreciate you and i appreciate your time uh, for all of you at home though if you want coverage of all things disc golf make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel do it, I dare you. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for checking out that interview, and thanks again to my newest sponsor, the Next Gen Tour. Check them out online and find the nearest regional qualifier, and maybe you could find yourself at the championship in Austin.